American Airlines. That was not an American Airlines. No, it wasn't a commercial airline. That second one wasn't no commercial. No, the second one definitely. The first one I never saw. The second one I saw it was big. Oh, yeah, big enough. It was no. It was no Cessna. No, no, it was no Cessna. But it didn't have any markings on it that I saw. No, I didn't see any. No, no emblems, no logos. The plane circle around and actually come on to the opposite side of the building and smash into the Trade Center. It was great, to be honest with you. The plane, the plane wasn't no uh, airline or anything. It was a twin-engine, big, gray plane. Mark, were you close enough to be able to see any markings on, on the airplane? Um, it definitely did not look like a commercial plane. I didn't see any windows on the side. It was a black plane. It looked like a fighter jet. It, it looked like a fighter jet. And it didn't look like a commercial jet. It was like a military plane. It was a military plane. Could, could be a drone aircraft. That's an aircraft that's a, a guided electronically uh, to its target without having a pilot. We were in the lobby, gathering to go up and start doing a search on the upper floors. As we were getting our gear on and making our way to the stairway, there was a uh, heavy duty explosion. And everybody just started running for the door. Everybody was trapped. Doctors treating the injured here say most of the 100 patients treated so far are suffering not just smoke inhalation and eye damage, but fractures. Many of them have told the doctors that they were responding to the attack on the South Tower when they were suddenly trapped by the second explosion, and many of the fractures they're suffering come not from fall and debris, but from the concussive force of the explosion, which slammed them against walls, knocked them to the ground, or slammed them up against their own ambulances. He thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. He says that he probably lost a great many men in those secondary explosions, and he said that there were literally hundreds, if not thousands of people in those two towers when the explosions took place, he said. There was a lot of talk there in New York of, a, of a, another explosion prior to the collapse of the first building. whether it was a bomb or whether the first plane that crashed into the tower had somehow been booby-trapped with a bomb that was timed to explode later after the crash had occurred. But CNN is reporting that there was a third explosion that caused World Trade Center 1 to collapse within itself and then collapse on other surrounding buildings. Uh, 50 consecutive bangs and it went fell down like a waterfall. And we heard the noise uh, associated with an implosion. 